I am really upset today. Yesterday, we got some of the worst news in Call of Duty history. Yesterday, x Labs tweeted, today we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the x Labs project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. We also have a tweet here from Momo, who is the person who just made the Black Ops 3 plutonium-like client. He said, as well, we have received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the x Labs project. Uh, because of that, we are also going to shut down Black Ops 3. So a few days ago, if you guys missed it, uh, SM2, that modded Call of Duty client that was going to combine all aspects from every single past Call of Duty into one game, it also got a cease and desist letter shutting down the SM2 project. Activision is just on a cease and desist train. They are just dishing them out left and right and shutting down all of these projects. I can't even jump into a game right now and talk about this because I, I literally, I just need to get all my thoughts together before we play any Call of Duty today. Some of you guys might be confused. Some of you guys might not understand what's actually going on. So this X Labs project was basically just a modded Call of Duty client for a lot of the past Call of Duty games. It revived all of these past Call of Duty games, made them safe to play, and there was actually a lot of people playing them on different servers. There was trick shotting servers, sniping servers, regular domination, TDM. You can unlock all the guns in the game and experience these old Call of Duty games like how you did when they first came out. If you try to go back to any of these past Call of Duty games, MW2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, if you try to play them on their respective consoles, you cannot do it, basically. You have tons of hackers. You have tons of people ruining the games, and it's almost impossible to play any past Call of Duty game. And these modded clients gave everyone the opportunity to play these again like how they were when they first came out. Next Labs client actually had Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, and the original Modern Warfare 2 from 2009. And also, Momo, the person who just came out with the Black Ops 3 client, is also shutting that down. And right now, I am on Black Ops 3, but this is the Black Ops 3 version from Steam, like the official one that Call of Duty came out with. And if you guys have seen any of my past videos playing Black Ops 3 on PC, it is disgustingly unsafe. People have had their information just put out there because they were just simply playing Black Ops 3 on PC. People are able to get your IP address. People are able to get your personal information. People are able to kick you from lobbies. It's extremely unsafe that I'm on this game right now, but I just want to be on this game right now to show Activision that you're making me play this unsafe game because you took down the Black Ops 3 client. Now, the only other modded Call of Duty client right now that is actually up is Plutonium. They have Black Ops 1, I think Black Ops 2. I think they might also have Modern Warfare 3 as well. And I'm sure Activision is going to send them a letter very soon. Like, they're probably next because Activision has shut down basically every other Call of Duty client. I'm struggling to even find a freaking lobby. This guy has a blue name. Get that Activision owns all of these old Call of Duty games. This is their IP, their intellectual property. If every right to take down all of these modded Call of Duty clients. I completely understand that and I get where Call of Duty is coming from. I think the main issue here and the main reason why so many people right now are upset about this is that Activision doesn't give a crap about all of their old Call of Duty games. If Activision actually cared about all of their old CODs, made it so there was no hackers, they were actually supported, it was safe to play these games, I don't think anyone would even care that these modded Call of Duty clients are gone. But because Call of Duty just doesn't support all of these old games, anymore. It makes it so we had to rely on all of these modded clients. I know Activision knows that Warzone 2 is down. Modern Warfare 2 is down. Their current product is down bad. But is that the player's fault? Absolutely not. A lot of people don't even agree with the product right now. A lot of people don't like Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 at the moment. And I think Activision taking down all of these modded clients is just out of spite. I don't think they want to take a chance at all to have people play another game other than their current product, their current Call of Duty. I think they're genuinely worried that other people might be playing something else other than Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2, which is just completely insane. It just really just, uh, it just rubs me the wrong way, man, because Black Ops 3 is genuinely my favorite Call of Duty game. And the fact that I'm playing this game right now through Steam, the official version, I'm actually putting my own self at risk. And the Black Ops 3 client that recently came out was the only way to play Black Ops 3 in a safe way, in a safe manner. A way that I didn't have to worry about hackers. In a way that I didn't have to worry about my personal information getting leaked. And I know Plutonium is next. Plutonium had Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Black Ops 2. I know that modded Call of Duty client is going to be next. Activision is a multi-billion dollar company. There's just no way that these modded Call of Duty clients actually hurt Activision that much. At the end of the day, I know for a fact it doesn't hurt their revenue at all. So yeah, I genuinely don't know if I'll have any more videos ever on Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 2. 
I don't even know if I'll ever have another video on Black Ops 3. Just genuinely don't want to get on the official release of this game on Steam and have all my information just at risk. I don't want to feel unsafe just playing a Call of Duty game, just playing video games. You should never have to feel unsafe just by playing a video game. I literally wasn't even recording and I got all of my raps and I got all of my streaks. I, I was popping off and I wasn't even recording and now I'm really, really upset. But this whole entire situation has really made me think about World of Warcraft. And I know a lot of you guys might not play World of Warcraft and that's that's fine. I'm gonna break it down for everyone. World of Warcraft, as you guys know, probably one of the best or biggest um, MMORPGs out there. And World of Warcraft, just like Call of Duty, has had many expansions, many DLCs. A lot of people in the World of Warcraft community didn't want to play World of Warcraft with all of these DLCs, all of these expansions. Actually preferred to play the older products and not the newer product. World of Warcraft fans were fiending, fiending for a way to play World of Warcraft like how it was back in the day. You know what World of Warcraft did? You know what, you guys know what they did? They came out with World of Warcraft Classic. It made it so you didn't have to play the newest World of Warcraft with all the changes, all the expansions. You can go back and play World of Warcraft Classic and make it so, oh, I think I had a hacker on my team. I think, yep, I had a hacker on my team that whole entire time, and I didn't even know. World of Warcraft Classic gave players the ability to play the old version of World of Warcraft before all the updates, before all the changes, and just play the vanilla experience that people really enjoy. It gave players the option to either play the newest product or the older version, the classic version. Easily something Call of Duty could do. Call of Duty could come out with some kind of like Call of Duty legacy pack. I would easily pay $10 a month to experience all the older Call of Duty games and make sure I can play them with zero hackers and actually be safe and not worry about my IP and personal information getting out there. They easily throw Activision more money to do that. They're not going to because they're only so focused on their current product, Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, and just like the future. Activision just literally does not care about any of their past products, but people do. Players want some way to experience the older Call of Duties. This guy in the chat is saying, please, normal game, there's no lobbies. Literally no lobbies on Black Ops 3 on the Steam version, and the odds of running into a hacker are literally 100%. I just had an aimbot hacker that last game on my team. I just want to make it very, very clear that I am not like disrespecting or talking bad about actual developers of Call of Duty. And it really sucks because so many developers, thousands upon thousands of developers actually took the time to create all these past Call of Duty games. Thousands of hours, months, years to create these games. And Activision is like, you know what? Mm, we're going to disregard all of that and uh, make sure no one can play your product. You know what's funny too? Like Activision can become like like a hero. Like they could easily become such an amazing company right now and, and drop that Call of Duty legacy game where we could play all the past Call of Duty games and not to worry about hackers and they actually support it. Like they could do that. They just don't. They just don't. And it's so stupid. And I saw people on Twitter trying to like explain like why there's so many hackers on these older Call of Duty games. So basically the older COD games were not ran on like dedicated servers. Meaning that if I played an older Call of Duty game, I would connect to someone's actual like connection, like their internet. And that's how so many people are able to get the people's or the player's IP addresses on these older CODs. Because they connect directly to their IP, to their network. A lot of these newer Call of Duty games are on dedicated servers, meaning that you can't just, you know, rip someone's IP just out and have it basically. And that guy has aimbot. Is this what you want, Call of Duty? You want me to play your official game so I can experience this? You're not gonna allow me to play a modded client where I don't have to freaking worry about hackers? This guy is literally the aimbot hacker. He has aimbot with his, with his specter. The only reason I actually got my full streaks last game was because I had the aimbot hacker on my team. I literally just killed the aimbot hacker just there. Literally, I just picked up his gun. You probably see me through a wall right now too, which is hilarious. Did he see me through the wall? Yep. Oh, he knew I was there. And the funny part is I almost killed him again. I said, why you got to cheat, man? Only lobby, please. Literally the only lobby on Black Ops 3 right now, and it's being ruined by an aimbot hacker. I was literally just about to get my all of my streaks as well. Now, there's, there's no reason to stay in the lobby. There's absolutely zero reason to stay. Oh, got my wraps. Surprisingly, no hacker in this game, even though that guy had a red name. Yeah, I just don't know uh, how many more Black Ops 3 videos I'm gonna be posting on the channel. Someone said, why raps? Why wouldn't I use my streaks? I'm so confused. Oh, 
well, all right. I think I'm going to be off this game before anything bad happens. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching the video, supporting the channel. This is truly an end of an era for Call of Duty. I really have no idea how the future is going to look, but at the moment, it, it's not looking good. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.